the issue of feral pigs and their impact on the forest ecosystem, as well as on farmers and landowners, was the focus of a stakeholders' consultation meeting held by the Department of Forestry. Feral pigs are known for their destructive foraging behavior, which can damage forest vegetation, disrupt native plants and animal communities, and degrade water quality in streams and rivers. The meeting was attended by representatives from various stakeholder groups, including pig hunters, government officials, and other agencies who gathered to discuss the challenges posed by feral pigs and potential solutions to mitigate their negative effects. Project manager of the Feral Pig Project funded by the St. Lucia National Conservation Fund, Aloysius Charles, in highlighting the ongoing problem of feral pigs, stressed the need for proactive measures to control their populations. Feral pigs have uh, for some time now been a problem within our forest reserves. Uh, and back in 2017, we actually had reports of an increase in feral pig activity. So many farmers from around the island came in and had, um, they were calling the department with reports of um, feral pig damage to their farms. And we also had reports from forestry officers operating within the forest reserve reporting damage and wallowing within the forest reserve. There was a lot of damage reported on these farms in close proximity to the, to the forest reserves. And some farmers had to actually abandon their farm, but they tried to um, engage some of the hunters on a small scale to try to get rid of the feral pigs. But because of the habits of feral pigs, we know that when they are put under pressure in one area, that they actually move to another area and just evade, evade the hunt. So we're hoping to have a more collaborated approach this time to be able to deal more holistically with the problem of feral pigs. Chief Forest Officer Alwyn Donnelly highlighted the importance of taking a holistic and integrated approach that considers the ecological, social and economic aspects of feral pig management while also prioritizing the conservation of natural resources and the interests of farmers and landowners. Initially, while we would have been thinking of trying to get rid of every last um, yeah, feral pig in the forest, we have sort of um, taken on uh, a different view. And um, we're more looking to manage, you know, what is there to a point where it is not you know, having that negative you know, effect on our resources, on our natural resources, on the forest, on the water resources, um, and even on other wildlife species. The stakeholders' consultation meeting on feral pigs highlighted the complex and multifaceted nature of the issue, which requires a collaborative effort among stakeholders to find effective solutions. With ongoing discussions and concerted actions, it is hoped that a balance can be struck between preserving the integrity of the forest ecosystem and protecting the interests of farmers and landowners affected by feral pigs. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.